Hello again, a new day, a new experiment, and here I have, after a few weeks of waiting, of course, one of this uh, 5 in series 5S BMS charger. This is an OLT1051 DS MT5S. Okay, so this, uh, this little device should, uh, in fact, um, replace the BMS is from drills, you know, machine drills. I'm intending to use this for charging and controlling, you know, the charging to a vacuum cleaner. I fixed it a while ago, a Bosch, which uh, needs 18 volts of uh, battery. So um, five in series will be more than enough for this project. What I'll do today is just to test this uh, board to see if the uh, connections are the way I've, I'm thinking they are and uh, extrapolating some other images and photos from the uh, from the web hopefully it will work I can't do the replacement right now because these cells are pretty wasted ruin okay 1300 1360 so they are kind of wasted so um, I can't exactly use them for a final battery but I can use them to check the board so far what I found you can see it here in the schematic the plus is going here on B plus which is this guy here then on the first row of cell you know these are in series all of them we have the B4 connection battery 4 right here then the B3 is coming in the middle and B2 right there and uh, near the minus we have the B1 I heard or I've been reading in fact this uh, board is not balancing it's doing only the charging discharging control also we have a thermistor here which uh, will um, check the temperature and uh, adjusting the characteristics according to the temperature of the batteries okay what else I should find is where I have to supply the charging I have a C plus that that maybe this is the charging plus charging plus here do we have a charging minus no but probably it's uh, it's here on P minus we also have a power plus and a power minus so this is for sure the outputs the output of the of the battery and also we can see this very clear because we have this kind of connector to a battery connector with plus in the middle this is the minus going to the power minus right here and we have a plus over there the better the middle pin should go to the charging plus or it's absolutely something yeah we have the multimeter continuity mode and yeah this is nice because I can use this as well for supplying the power let's put the things together first let me have uh, the cells ready so the first will be with the plus like that and down plus again there we are so this is the configuration soldering iron TS100 my trusty companion here these cells are harvested from ruined laptop batteries I'm always take this out with the tabs on or at least a piece of tab because I can do better solderings this way mm, nothing we need to, to prepare first the the tabs perfect we go to the next one plus right here be careful with short this is not a joke these guys are biting oh yeah probably I need a piece of wire there but this is even better because this piece of wire can be a kind of fuse just in case of short or you know mistaking something so if you wonder why I got these pieces of wire you know LAN cable LAN cable for networking just take that cable apart and you have plenty of connection wires there we go 
Okay, one, two, three, four. And I need one more. Okay, this guy. This guy goes with the minus connected to. You got any problem here? No. Any fumes? No. The battery is done. Let me put this together with a piece of tape. Yeah, everything is good here. All the connections are fine. No problems, no short. This will be the fuse. I know it's ugly, but it's experimental. So, voltages. Let's see. 19 volts. Perfect. Now, let's do the connections. Maybe I should start. Should I put them like that? Why not? Of course. Plus comes here. Then we should have B4. Maybe I shouldn't have disconnected first. Let me see. B4. Here. I'm talking about the connection number. Okay. Before it's right here. Lovely. Then we got B3 in the middle. Right there. Okay. All right. Let's connect B plus 2 on cell number 1. Then B3, then we have B2, which is this blue one down there. Is this guy here? Yeah, B2. Very nice. Then B1, which is the last one, the yellow guy, right here. And in the end, I got the thermistor down on the battery. This one comes here at the end. We can just use some double tape so what we got here i said the power plus it's getting what is the plus okay that's the plus this one and this one we should have 19 volts here let's check that out plus and minus of course we have 19 volts. I need that temperature sensor in between the battery. Let's charge this guy first and see how it's behaving and how long it takes. If we consider 4.1 volts times 5, that's 20.5 volts. Uh, no, yeah, 21 maybe. Let's, uh, okay, 4. 20 point okay let's set 21 let me check that it's better perfect 21 volts let me have a low current first so like i said this is the power plus here P plus plus right here this is p minus of course this is charging plus and minus goes here. Let's see. Minus and plus. Okay, we got charging current. 85 milliamps. Let's go to 2 amps. Oh no, it's asking for more. Okay, let's have 2 and 2 amps. Okay.